Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me and supporting me on Steno 24-7. And for your help, here is some dictation for you at 120 words from minute per minute on immigrants. Ready? Let's begin. Influences are continually working upon Congress to treat immigration as fundamentally an evil, which must perhaps be tolerated, but which should be stingently unregulated and restricted. As a result of this urgency, we have property qualifications, illiteracy tests, and other requirements which must be complied with before admitting the man of foreign birth who seeks to bring willing hands and a stout heart to a aid in the development of our country. The errors committed in efforts to regulate immigration spring from usually an entire misconception of the work of the immigrant as a factor in our progress. The immigrant should be looked upon as so much raw material brought to our shores at his own expense to be worked over in our institutions and made into the finished product an American citizen. It is our part to take him in the rough and perfect him, to put him or his children through our schools, to subject him to the attrition of our social and industrial system, to teach him to obey our laws, and to make of him a useful part of our economic machinery. We do not complain that the raw materials we import for our factories must go through the processes of manufacture before becoming useful. We should not expect the raw material of citizens to be already perfected. Our nation was founded by immigrants, though we call them more politely pilgrim fathers or first settlers. It has been maintained and built by the steady inflow of the eager and ambitious of every nation to change the policy by this great annual contribution of humanity has been made welcome is dangerous. There are, of course, immigrants more desirable than others, but the task of discriminating between them is a delicate one, and however intelligently it may be performed, it still leaves upon the United States the even more important duty of providing and maintaining to the utmost perfection the agencies that will transmit this raw material into the finished product.